first of all, I want to ask you about The Young and the Restless. That is obviously a huge TV show with a huge, huge, huge fan following. What is it like being on a show like that? Well, it's incredible. It's the number one show. It has been number one for 28 years without missing one month. Uh, we just had our 40th anniversary of the show, and then I just celebrated my 31st anniversary of being on the show. So it's, it's an amazing experience. I can't, I can't believe it, really. Say, I say the numbers, and I'm just shocked. <laughs> In your very first episode with the show, I understand you just had one line. Did you ever expect that it would become the icon that it is today when you first auditioned? Well, I didn't because my I was only supposed to be on for one day, and my my first line was something my family never hears, which is "dinner is served." So, it had to be huge. Great acting, right? <laughs> but here we are, I, I was only supposed to be on for that one time, and so here we are over 31 years later. So no, I, I did not expect it. Uh, when the casting director, when I interviewed with him, he um, actually, he, he called me and said, I have this role, it's really, really small, and if you blink, you're gonna miss it, but I want you to know I'm looking for something else for you on the show. And usually, that doesn't happen, because once you do a role like that, that's it for you, but he said, no, I'm looking, and I said, okay, yeah, I would love to do it, and so he was shocked as well, and he, he, used, he, was, a, he was an incredible man. His name was Tom Palmer. He's since passed away, but he told me he always would use me as an example when he did seminars, because what if I had said no? What if I said no? It's too small. I don't want to do that, you know. Thank goodness I, I didn't do that. And would you ever be, I know reality shows are blowing up right now, would you ever be on a show like Dancing with the Stars if they asked you? Well, it's funny that you mentioned Dancing with the Stars because I, w I would absolutely love to do Dancing with the Stars, yes. I, I'm a huge fan of that show. Uh, I'm a tap dancer, so I, I would, I'm, but I'm not a ballroom dancer, so I, I, I would love to do that, yeah. Who would be your dream celebrity to work with, the uh, dancers? Uh, up there? Well, I like Tony, you know, I, I think he, they're all great. But, you know, but I, it would be neat to have him as a partner. Any of them, I would, you know, and of course Derek is unbelievable. Derek Huff is, well, they're all amazing. And I know a lot of them because I'm over there as much as I can. I love the show, so I'll be in the audience lots of times every season. So I would love to do it, definitely. Tonight is all about Johnny Cash, obviously. Were you a fan of Johnny Cash? I was a fan and am a fan, and here it is. I can't believe it, but it's 10 years ago this month that he passed away. That's unbelievable to me because I remember when that happened, and um, I'm really anxious to see this because it's a documentary, and there's footage and things you know no one knows about, and uh, the filmmaker, Jonathan, uh, I think his father, I believe his father managed Johnny Cash, and uh, he... I know this is a huge labor of love for him to be able to do this, so I, I'm really anxious to see this, and I, I know it's going to be great. We're very excited as well. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Okay.